This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Problem number 22 from the 10A and number 19 from the 12A. We're given 13 cards numbered 1 to 13 that are arranged in a row. And the task is to pick them up in numerically increasing order, working repeatedly from left to right. So for example, in the example that they give, we have cards 1, 2, 3 are picked up on the first pass, 4 and 5 on the second pass, 6 on the third pass, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the fourth pass, and then the remaining 11, 12, 13 on the fifth pass. For how many of the 13 factorial possible orderings of the cards will the 13 cards be picked up in exactly two passes? So we need to make sure it's exactly and not under or over. Okay, so I see that 13 is not too high of a number, so my first guess on an AMC problem would be to go with casework. So let's play around a bit though. Let's see what happens if we pick the first M cards. So we have one, two, three, and then we pick the first M cards. So now on the second pass, we're going to need to do the remaining cards, and that's going to be M plus one, M plus two, all the way to, so all the way to, let's say M plus N, which we know is equal to 13. So how many ways can I arrange the cards, um, the, arrange the cards so that I'm picking M cards on the first pass and the remaining cards on the second pass? Well, let's try an example. What if we pick M equals two? So now we have to arrange one and two out of these 13 cards. Well, can we pick any two spots? Well, yeah, we can. So, so we pick two spots. So that's 13 choose two. Uh, let's say I pick this one and this one. Now we have to put the numbers 3 through 13 somewhere. And we end up having that order already fixed too. We have to put it from left to right, just like we did for the 1 and the 2. So 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So the order is fixed once you pick the two spots. So does that mean that for m equals 2, there's just 13 choose 2 uh, ways to do it? Well, no. We have to remember, it's exactly two passes. We also have to consider... What if we do only one pass? So the way we would only do one pass is what if we picked one and two first? Then we would have three, four, five, six, and so on. So that's the case that's not allowed because this would be in one pass, right? After we picked the one and the two, we would also pick the three, four, and all the way to 13. So we have to subtract that case. And in fact, we're going to just do the same thing for all the cases. We have to pick M spots and then subtract one of them because that case doesn't work. So let's set up some sigma notation to represent that. So we have M plus N equals 13 as defined. And then both M and N need to be greater than one. M needs to be greater than one because you're going to pick at least one uh, when you're going to the thing, right? When you're going to a pass, you're going to pick at least the number one. Um, N needs to be greater than or equal to one because there has to be exactly two passes. If it's zero, then there's only one pass. And then what you're going to do here is we're going to have n plus n, and then we're choosing m of those spots. So cleaning this up a bit, we get that k equals 1, and we iterate to 12, or 13, choose k. And then we subtract 1 from each case. Now, this isn't a nice number to calculate, right? Like, there's 12 numbers that you have to calculate. We don't want to do that on the AMC. Um, what we can do here is we have a nice identity that we can use. So if we have some number of the form n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 all the way to n choose n, well, this represents just picking any subset of the n numbers because it has all the sizes included. So either each number is going to be in the subset or not in the subset, and there's n numbers, so this is 2 to the n. So now this is similar to that, but we're missing a 13, right? Uh, 13 choose 13, and then we're also missing a 13 choose 0. So I can rewrite this as 13 and k equals 0, 13 choose 13, or 13 choose k minus 1. And the reason I can rewrite this is because 13 choose 13, minus one so that's what the new term that we just added that's zero so we just added zero which doesn't change anything 
and 13 to 0 minus 1 is also 0. So we didn't actually add anything. This is the same sum. So this is just 2 to the 13. So here, let's break this off. So this equals 2 to the 13. And then there's 14k values, so 2 to the 13 minus 14. And that's going to give us 8178 as our answer. And we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.